Testing, testing. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, we're all good to go. Alright, just need to make sure that's down. Alright, oh, that's good. That's there. Camera's here. Alright, and that should be it. Why is bot someone? Nice. All right. Hello, Brave Soul Sonic Legacy 12 here, and welcome back to the day one play session of Monster Hunter World. Um, basically, again, for anyone who's new, I uh, basically my day one play series is kind of like a mini review series. I don't go a full out, full blown uh, review kind of thing, but more so just like a small little little taste to see uh, how how well a game is based on certain criteria that I have listed, and then of course I give a score at the end of the stream if I do I get to a point where I've gone through enough of the basic content that's available uh, available day one or two or whatever at least I try to get these done in, within the first week anywho um, of course as you see on uh, left of the uh, of my camera screen here I uh, basically of course uh, is the score pending area so that uh, given this is part two so we will have the final score out of out of five and five being the best so anywho uh, with that said uh where we left off yesterday uh basically we've now acquired our weapon had to do a little training here and there but uh we're all pretty much good so we can continue on so i believe what we're going to be doing is probably a mission or so um and then also some uh, an online session with uh, anyone of random and we'll see how it goes from there And I did not realize that when I made made my uh, <laughs> made my hunter, I think I might have accidentally made him look like uh, Jack from Jack and Daxter. Uh, I, I I that I I did not intentionally do that. At least it, I didn't intend for it to almost make him look like it. Just. Eh. And uh, as far as the Dragon Ball Fighters Part 2 session, um, I'm going to try to see if I can do it tomorrow morning. Of course, Easter Standard Timing wise, um, I, I, I given Sunday. No, 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 shush, 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 shush. But um, yeah, I, I don't know when, because I normally don't do streams on Sundays, given that I have to normally always work said night and. Also because I need to try to get some time to do edits and stuff, but, eh. 
Had access to the armory and provisions, stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Alright, and handlers source their research here. commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! <laughs> Over here. So my gosh. So I guess accept the uh, assignment, handler in the canteen, I think was right over here. Yeah, cause I, I, I'm good like that with a, a freaking switch axe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I'm in that canteen area. Ah, here we go. Or no. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, I am, I can't. Hey! Commander. No, no, not. But then again. Oh. Okay. It's not about hunting down the elder dragons or punishing them for the, for the damage they cause. The commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature and ours. That's the point. The elder dragons are nature, and it is futile to try and punish nature as it is to run from it. Now that's hunting. But knowing nature, now that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear. What this world needs is harmony. But before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now, this. Oh, there we go. Gosh, couldn't see him from that. Or is that not even. Oh, well, there's the stockpile. Time to get hooked with some supplies. Pick all your zenny, still good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Huh. Binoculars. Traps wise, yeah, for specific few of them, yeah, we need that. Hey! Chop, I'm working here. Alright, large empty barrel, commander, even pattern make into the wall. Okay, I think we are pretty much good from this point, so we won't need any. Quest mode. So where in the world is this hand? Oh wait, I think I see. I think, unless this is another thing that I'm overlooking. Yeah, I can't. Oh wait. Okay, I guess we are. Shut up. There we go. This is it. Oh. This isn't... Well, it's the cat. <laughs> oh, 
Hi, welcome to the canteen. The best place for you to boost your hunt. You're from the fifth lot. Let me clue you into what canteen is all about. Gains, health, stamina, up, uh, health, Capcom. Why? Why must you? Why? Uh, even the badass looking one, and he still does it. Capcom, why? Oh, you're the hand. Right oh. Alright. Oh, yeah. The fifth fleet's first mission is to survey the jogger's habitat. Okay. Now we gotta call a certain number of them in order to secure the area. You can depart as soon as you sign up for the genres of the Ancient Forest quest. You ready? What are we waiting for? The new world awaits. Alright. Quests involve objectives such as slaying monsters. To get started on a quest first, you have to accept it. Alright. Assignments complete these missions to advance the story. Optional quests. These include favors for NPCs. More will become available as you meet the necessary requirements. You can take on optional quests as many times as you like, investigation-wise. All right, these special quests are issued by the resource center and can only be taken a limited number of times. Oh, Capcom, why you gotta pull an, an extra battles quest like thing? Uh, this is not Street Fighter, but again, you're Capcom, you will do this. <laughs> Anyways, um, event, special quest exclusive to online play. Cool. Uh, slay seven Jagas. Cool. Alright, you're free to explore Astero until operations for the quest are complete. Grab a meal at the canteen, sh shore up your supplies at the provision stockpile, get the latest gear from the smithy and armory, then adjust your equipment and organize your items at the item box. You'll be heading out to the field in no time. Okay. And take a look at the upper left corner of the screen. Uh, when the quest is ready to begin, you'll see a notification there. Once you're prepared, press uh -huh. at any time to enter standby. You can go on stand. On standby, pressing A. Okay. On party member status menu, select the standby for departure. You have. We'll have your party depart on the quest as soon as all preparations are accounted for. If you are the leader of the party, pressing Y will let you depart first. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, one sec. Dual blades, that's another one I, I'm, I'm kind of liking. So, what do we got here? What do we got? Match slicers and bone hatchets. Ooh, okay. The bone ones actually will do very nicely. Oh, switch axe is my babe for right now. Okay, nope. 
we won't have anything to worry about here. So, okay. something to eat next and then that should do it Oh gosh, that sunset though. Okay, eating meals can boost stats such as health and stamina and grant special food skills. Select the meal you wish to eat, eat from the menu. The meal effects are shown in the center of the screen. Take a good look at each meal's effects to help you determine which one will, benefit, what, will provide the best benefits for your next hunt. Okay, nothing really changed about that since who knows what monster hunter game? Anyways, um, <clears throat> oh, inactivated. Use special radiance to meal effects end when any of the following happen. Complete a quest. Return from a uh, quest or expedition you fate during a quest or expedition. Great. You can eat again at camp a short time after eating a meal. About ten minutes. Don't forget to eat again after fainting. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's the finishing touch. Are you freaking serious? Oh my, that that was oh okay, that that was nicely done. <laughs> Uh, given on console, Capcom can pretty much do whatever the hell they please now with Monster Hunter. Gosh, that was... Uh, okay. Um, actually, yes, we want to do this now. minutes all right this is our first job let's do a quick review of quest rules oh boy rule number one complete the objective to complete the quest easy right each quest has an objective you can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of jaggers let's check them out We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two, use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Mm-hmm. Ready to go. Nothing new. Just the same, sort of. What? No. Oh yeah. Hey, partner. Okay. Want to get 
get going. Okay. Nothing can stop us. Uh huh. Okay. <clears throat> Want to get going? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Mm. All right. Anywho. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Mm hmm. As long as we just get over there. There we go. Oh. There we go. Hey! Oh. Okay, so we actually have to go back that way. Alright. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Right here, dude. <laughs> A pack of jackets. Those are the monsters we're after. Oh, Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. Oh, time to go. materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. Over here! Ooh. Oops. Use whatever you can. Go away. 
Okay. Go away, all of you. Don't come near me. You're gonna get killed. Noise. We um all right. So what do we got? Driver scale. Yeah. We to the idle bodies. Alright. Armor sphere. Knock light oil or and blue mushroom. No oh, gosh, those mushrooms though. Alright, and ancient bone. Wait, okay. Crafting material, okay, okay. Palico picked up. Yeah. Cast it on. Okay. Those are not girls. Okay. Uh huh. Listen up. It's gonna be your job to quiet them down. We like you to investigate this Kestodon. We heard and called our numbers. Okay. Whew. All right. You can now depart on quest with other players via online session. Okay. Until the beginning of February, add-ons now available. Hello, free hairstyles and classic gestures. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. So. Squad manager. Okay. and embark on quests together. Atopistera, uh, 
No, it looks like it's about to set snail off to the stars. That's it. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, that, that's nice. Ship engineer, huh? Greetings. No one cares about what you have and why you haven't met a member of the third yet, because they're stranded for years. Okay. <laughs> so they insist on crossing the Great Ravine. So they got the ship converted into an airship and off they went. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So... Anything just needs to find. There we go. There you are, Fiber. It's a complete master. <clears throat> okay. monster materials in order to, uh, or to forge and upgrade equipment at the smithy. Alright, given the materials you're on as a quest but as quest rewards or carved from monsters to the smithy and create new equipment for taking on even more tougher monsters. Okay. Now can we do anything though? Select the weapon you want to upgrade to. You can use materials to upgrade different weapons. Uh, very improved stats. If you want to, uh, if you want more base weapons to enhance, you can create more. But uh, forge equipment at the smithy or by purchasing them at the armory. Upgraded weapons can also be downgraded. Materials used to upgrade the weapon will be returned to you. Mm -hmm. And select weapon with the cursor. Press Y to add to the wish list. Once you acquire the necessary materials to... Oh, that's what that's for. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Oh, and it has a... Tr it has a, uh... An upgrade tree. So now we know how, where everything goes. Because the previous games, if I remember correctly, you couldn't see anything like that. Oh wow, we can actually go ahead and still upgrade? Duh. Uh. 
Oh wait, nope, we can't. <laughs> nope, never mind. Okay, we're messing a material too. But at least I know what it might. Well, I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's some kind of uh, grain material. I don't, I don't know the name for. It. I, I can't. So let's go ahead and add that. Eh, we'll worry about the next one later. There we go. So I put the wrong one in, but hey, whatever. Okay, there you go. Each piece of armor has a level. You can use armor spheres to gain points, which you use to raise your armor's level. Equipment's appearance it won't, it won't change, but its defense will increase. There's a limit to the number of times a piece of armor can be leveled up. The number of points gained depends on the type of armor sphere you, you, yeah, you've used. Oh my gosh. Cannot speak today. So we we can upgrade five times with the uh, the mail. All right. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, it seems a little more, uh, a little more simple, like, at least gives more of a better explanation than the 3DS games have, because I guess the way the series was evolving in a way. I, I haven't played Generations, but from 4 Ultimate, it looks like more so they were uh, it, it just giving you kind of a quick run, but this kind of like eases it eases your way into learning, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Still a few things I wish they would like go deeper into details and explaining, but it's what it is. I'm not going to completely upgrade everything, but I goofed up. I did too much. <laughs> Whoop, whoops. And I'm so tired. I can barely... I can, like, barely think anything out right now. But that's that's alright. That, that's alright. Alright. Day and night. <clears throat> alright. Okay. She's probably all the way at the top again. Oh no. <laughs> I figured that was probably not the right way to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Yep, there she is. Hey there, partner. Alright, next thing we need to do is take care of those Custodons. Chief said he'd be tagging along with us. Yada, yada, yada. How about we start searching the ancient forest and go from there? Uh -huh. I've got some good news. The, the weep handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. Alright, you can sign up for quests there too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. Then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board too. Same quest that I've got, so don't worry 
about having to check two places. Good, because I don't want to go too, uh, all over the place just to find one specific thing. So, good thing that they have the boards. Just, at least from what I've seen, the boards are almost everywhere in Astera. So, oh, that's good. That's good. Alright, Lucky Vouchers. When Lucky Vouchers are used when posting a quest, you'll receive bonus rewards. Upon completing quests, be sure to use vouchers whenever you get the chance. Random quest rewards are guaranteed to drop. Uh, reward money doubles. And Lucky Vouchers are obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered each day and you can claim up to five days worth. Oh gosh. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, it, it, they'd make it too easy if I... If you kept doing endless ones day after day after day, so. Alright. Um, also note that you can only carry a maximum of five lucky vouchers at one time. And today's day two, so. Yeah, of the max that anybody should only have is about two of them, so yeah. Except this quest. Well, I guess we could try to get this one as a uh, online, so we can pretty much get this cleared up. So, in the meantime, let's, let's eat. Now, let me see what this oven roast actually would do. Oven roasting cooks food over the time it takes to complete one quest. For example, if you oven roast some raw meat, once the quest is done, you'll have to re you'll return to find a ration. Be sure to collect your cooked food on the way out to the next quest. That requires research points. Okay. So, let me make sure I got that right. Alright, so... Oven roasting cooks food over time it takes to complete one quest. For example, when you uh, oven roast some raw meat, once the quest is done, you'll return to find a ration. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, I don't even have anything to... Okay, then why is that... Like, no, no, no. no. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I like how it instantly does it and not have to wait it out a little while, like a good while. Just, just a, little dab, a little dabbing on it. Okay. And I think we are ready to go. After departure, okay. No windows. Shut up. Alright, so...
Whee! Our job is to call a certain number of pests to doctors. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Wanna get going? Hey, hey, dude, dude. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Sir. Shut the hell up. I, I'm trying I'm trying to get myself some some some, some of that protein. <laughs> no, no, no. Slay three of the male and five of the female. Got it. Okay. And what are you? Jeez. Oh wait, wait. I remember. Yeah, the. Pr oh. Those, my friend, are tested up. Oh no. Take him out on your own. Why is it coming this way? Huh. Be Ow. Piece of. Come here. Come here. The hell you excuse you? Uh uh, no no. Screw you, you piece of shit. That okay, no, tell with you. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, you interrupted my oh, oh, I'm upset. No, no, get the hell away. life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Oh, that's nice. Get boxed in? Okay. If that makes it over. Aww. Whee! Nothing. Okay.
う。They're coming this way. Damn, he's dead. Oof, face first. Aw, oh, you little bitch. Alright, get over here. I, bruh, come on now. Dude, I did not want to dodge into him. Crap that slide though. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nope. Ow. In the middle of my. Mm, you little bitch. <laughs> Woo! There we go. You son of a bitch! What? Well, Good work. they can climb. Wraps up oh our boy. Here. Wait. Hey, come here. I think I found something. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. As soon as I finish carving up this one. Oh, damn. Bruh! You just swallowed up the. Now, now. Gotcha. Okay. Right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the great Jagras quest later. Oh, no. We're going to take it on now. You need to call your friends for help. Go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal it. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, you need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I accidentally paralyzed my Falico. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, I don't think it's its home. Whoops. <laughs> we Oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Why ain't that something? <laughs> Bruh. 
Oh man, okay. I don't know. Do, do I? No, I probably. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, we can't. No, sorry. No. 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 Moss vine. I'm, oh, moss vine. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay, anywho. Woo! Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Track the great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Ooh. No. No, no. You don't want to take hits like that head on. Look out! Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. Oh crap! 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 Crap!
Uh, yeah, until it just moved again. Okay, ooh, watch that stamina. Of a bitch. Okay. really gonna do anything. Yeah, you've mounted the monster. Holy crap, I mounted it? What? Oh no, I'm the button master. Too late for that. What the hell is that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get back here, you piece of shit. He's getting away. Uh, oh, bruh. Oh, 
did it again. I did it again. Aw, oh, freaking. There we go. Yeah, take some of that and that and light. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm. In the water. He did. Ooh, and I took out a giant fish monster too <laughs> at the same damn time. What the hell? The Gaju. Or the Gajau, whatever it's pronounced, but yeah. Jeez. That was, that was freaking awesome. I think that's, uh, should do it. The jaw goes, he's dead. I think we got a lead. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Our mark. Okay, something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? What do you think it might be like it? You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right. One day soon, we'll get our hunters to actually speak. But one day. to the new world earn the right to take on two star assignments cool nice nice all right so that is two achievements already or three i should say so far throughout this uh street or at least the day one play session of this and now all we got to do is do an online thing and that's it
I see. You said, okay, so you think something. Eh, you found something that'll lead us to Zora Magdaros. Well, I'd send some searchers out there right now, but not with a pissed off Pukey Pukey hanging around. No, yeah, great. <laughs> Pukey Pukey territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. We better be equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding, our well, the forest camp. Once it's ready, we'll make money. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Until then, we do everything we can to help them get the camp up and running. Let's get to it. Uh huh. Once the camp is set up, we can go after that Puke Puke. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. Build the camp, but it's excellent news. I hope you're as good as you say you say you are. So what plan do you work for you? Okay. After all commission studies, lots of things, not just the Elder Dragon we came here with. Right, maintaining and improving the base is full is a full plate of tasks in itself. Can't sell anything without a proper HQ after all. Our resource center is here in charge of divvying up all the work that all that work and making sure it gets done. <laughs> So back to business, your job is to establish a camp, go on an expedition into the H forest, find a viable campsite, make sure it's safe. Don't let me down. Oh, that's nice. Alright, resource center oversees research requests and manages the resources required. For their investigations, to do bounties, you need to register beforehand, whereas delivery requests can be completed by, by just handing in items. Alright, when you unlock on investigations, there are requests and expeditions. Check in the resource center and make them available as a special quest. Alright, we'll resource center information anytime. So, uh, resource center, okay. <clears throat> Alright, bounties are missions you complete over the course of your quest and expeditions. First, check the critical bounties and pick register bounty. You can take on multiple bounties at once. Most bounties will re uh, reward you with armor spheres. What? Well, armor spheres, my gosh. And research points once you've completed the bounty. Drop by the resource center to collect uh, to collect your reward. My gosh, I cannot read today. All right, register bounties. You can select up to six of these from the list to accept. The list is updated when you return from a quest or expedition, so check back frequently. These bounties, critical bounties, these bounties unlock new facilities or upgrades existing ones and are, are accepted automatically. They can be, they can all be completed in parallel with your register bounties. And Limited bounties. These quests are offered periodically to online users around the world and are available for a limited time only. All right. When the next limited bounty is released, it will overwrite the previous one. If you want to complete them all, be sure to keep an eye on the expiry date. Okay. Okay. Let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. Alright, uh, let's see if we can do an online quest right now. <clears throat> you can embark on an expedition just by heading out through the gate. Or you can use the world map, whatever's easiest for you. In multiplayer, you can enjoy quests and expeditions in a team of up to four players, one of the maximum 16 players present in your online session. 
players in the same online session can communicate via chat regardless of their locations. Many quests can be joined while in progress. Expeditions are unlocked as you progress through the game. Multiplayer is not av available during story-related expeditions. Okay. When choosing a quest, select post a new quest, then set one of the following set the following options. Players, how many you want to wish to join the quest? Okay, yada yada yada. Set the code for people to get in. Join a select join a quest to participate in a quest or expedition initiated by another player. Doing so will send you the quest leader a join request so they can approve you. Join requests are set to auto accept by default. To change this select quest. Quest join settings from options to set join quest. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Expeditions are not listed in the quest counter unless an SOS flare has been used. So, well, if no one in your online session is recruiting for the quest you want, select online sessions to move to a new session to try again. Okay, yeah. Anyways, alright. Many quests and expeditions can be joined while in progress. However, if you join a quest, in progress, after a set time has passed since it was begun, you will not receive credit for completing the quest. Uh, completing the quest, <clears throat> and you will not earn quest rewards. Please keep in mind, keep this in mind when joining quests. You will still retain any items carved from monsters or gather. Well, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a break monster behind set capture. Okay, let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. Embark on an expedition just by heading out through the gate. Or you can use the world map. Whatever's easiest for you. Good fat. Okay, now we wait.
given another moment or so. If no one shows up, we'll just hop in and hopefully people show up during during that quest. given that quest took quite a while so actually hmm. okay here's what I'm gonna do no one shows up within the next say two minutes um, I th think that would probably have to do it because given we are kind of running short on time and yeah Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess that might have to, uh, I might have to do it. So. Okay. Yep, that'll have to do it. Um, I was hoping that uh, there would be people to show up, at least at some point. But I don't know if, given, I don't know if it's due to that I'm playing on the Xbox One edition, or if it's uh, more of a matter of that everyone's progressed much further, or if it's an that type issue thing. I don't know. So... This review is going to kind of be a little weird right now because the online status was it is a part of my uh, my analysis. But anywho, given that we can't determine that one, I shouldn't really. Mm, yeah, I I don't want to count the online against it if it was a matter of not many people on there 
right now because I'm playing on a completely different console, whereas to popularity over on a Japanese console compared to an American one, but regardless, it is what it is, so um, I probably may not count it against it at all. So, if anything, uh, this is now the point of the, uh, the day one play review session. Uh, basically, give my analysis in several different categories. So, um, all right. So basically, uh, the categories being, of course, mechanics and control, then features, visuals and uh, visuals and UI accessibility, uh, the story, uh, online, and then the overall, and then the rating, which would be one out of five, with five being the best. So. First off, with mechanics and control, um, as far as as far as things how they've handled it, it this is actually pretty much a hell of a lot better than uh, than Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate because it was the last one, I, the last and only one I've actually really played, and handles itself very very well in comparison. Um, basically, as far as now movement wise, um, movements pretty much about like more free and not so condensed down because if the difference from mostly been handhelds from recent games in the past in comparison to console now in console they can full-blown go all out as they freaking please but it handles pretty pretty nicely um the mechanics as far as the mounting and all uh and the whole day and night system uh how quests are handled and now the way that the uh given there's a lot more to handle that it actually you can how should I say hmm darn it lost that thought I really hate when that happens <laughs> but if anything um, pretty much the mechanics that they've implemented into the game definitely hell of a lot better than I expected at least um, and as far as the features goes now um, Hmm. As far as the, the uh, majority of the new features added, of course now with the, uh, well, some of them not, not so much new, but of course now with the online modes, now at least you can carry a better set and then you can actually have people jump in and out of missions. Um... Hmm. Trying to think on anything else that I might have missed, or at least anything. Mm, let me see here. Yeah, basically, yeah, all all basic features. If anything, it be, at least based on what I've played so far, it seems pretty similar over to uh, previous titles. So, eh, pretty much a familiar system. So not too too complicated as far as I uh, anything you think might have been added to being carried or at least how should I say not too too much has been added but at least still a wealthy amount of uh, features and content already here mostly familiar some some little tidbits new here and there but that it is what it is um, the visuals and all um, I'm not not too really concerned about graphics and all but given it's a point that let's be honest the majority of the uh, majority of gamers do actually require that um, so based on what I've seen so far given I'm playing on the Xbox one edition of this so oh 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 my gosh I actually forgot yeah the um that was a new feature I completely forgot was added um, the actual fireflies I or at least yeah the yeah, the fireflies that actually track at least specific items or keeping you detailed on where to go, certain footprints and all. That was actually pretty good that they added because, I'm, I'm sorry, it is almost difficult in the previous games to actually figure out where the hell you were going. <laughs> so, there. That's one good feature that I can definitely remember now that really, really glad they took care of that. Um... But anyways, back to the visuals and UI accessibility. I, 
this I uh, the Xbox one edition I am playing on the original Xbox one system so um, if you noticed in part one or in this part uh, of the stream session that it seems like it lags itself a bit uh, or if it looks kind of uh, almost saturated ish a bit and I, I guess it's one way you could say it I don't know but um, I'm get I'm gonna assume given that I'm playing on the oldest generation of the Xbox one consoles I'm not surprised on the on kind of like the graphical displaying so that is what it is I there's not much I can do about it because I do not have the money to actually upgrade to an s or an e or an uh, X model system so yeah but at least it, it is made down to a point where the it can handle the game at at least so definitely definitely something good there um, and I do like that they now added a lot of cinematics and all in comparison like now with the uh, like full full blown scale uh, like such as the cutscenes and as well as also the uh, the meal preparation <laughs> that was pretty freaking hilarious um, but yeah um, story wise uh, I see where the story's going of course uh, it's all focused on one specific huge monster in particular but um, the story does feel a like it takes a while to get to the point where it needs to go or at least start building up um, but it, it, I guess it works it, it all works in a way uh, as far as now, um, online, like I have mentioned, there's not much I can do with the online because of the fact that, I, I guess, under certain conditions, um, we don't have... <laughs> yeah, yeah, unless there's not many people playing them because I'm playing on the Xbox One system, or if uh, there's not many people available for that one quest given that today is the second day and everyone's pretty much moved the hell on um so or for any other reason whatsoever it's or the nat type issues which i hope that's not the case because if it is and i, I am aware of it then that would have affected the score that i'm gonna give it so right now since i don't know the said issue I can't really add that to my score so unfortunately I will have to keep online as a NA for right now um, <clears throat> it is the only online mission I can do right now <laughs> and overall overall this is probably the best Monster Hunter game to date right now and this of course obviously being on the PS4 and Xbox One this beats the hell out of any of the other console editions that were made even the Wii U edition Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate so story story wise yeah, pretty yeah, pretty well um, yeah, at least now and thank goodness for that loading screen time thing does not does not apply anymore on actual missions going in between different areas of the world map thank freaking gosh because that was an absolute that's, at times that was an absolute nightmare on the 3DS and for those in the past that know yeah it, you know you know <laughs> but uh, all, all the features they pretty much added now full of full scale animations of course uh, given now there's actual quest boards all over the place um, and now with the uh, the tracking system with the uh, fireflies definitely a huge help um overall the yeah, game looks pretty impressive and it is indeed fun as hell especially when you get further down into it and then once you have friends actually joining in and all definitely all worth it so um with that now comes the review part of or at least the review scoring so everybody get ready as i'm about to change the score right now review pending and magic. 
I want to give this one right now a 4.0. <clears throat> and that is pretty much going to be the score I am giving for Monster Hunter World. So there you go. That is that. 4.0. So had and now again had the online issues actually taken place i it the score would have dropped a bit if it was down to nat type issues so it is what it is but still that yeah, will still a very very fun entry in the series to try so definitely go for it um there is quite a lot to do, at least very expansive amount of content, definitely. So it'll at least make sure you have the time to play because it, it's this is almost in comparison to Ark Survival Evolved, Fortnite, at least not the Battle Royale ed edition, but at least the standard. This will require some some good time put into it. So that is a definite, but um, that's pretty much going to end it here, guys. Uh, again, as I mentioned about the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, review session finale, I I'm gonna try to work on that one tomorrow morning, at least as far as Eastern Standard Time wise. So it might be around 11 or 11:30, or I might push it to noon. We don't, I don't know yet, but just keep note on my uh, on my event log. So um, that that'll do it for today. Um, we. <sighs> Also, I was trying not to go outside my pattern on the new setup I wanted, but however, um, given I actually got a hold of uh, hold of the guests for my well, one of the streams I was pl planning to do tonight um, for just cause. So, um, what's going to happen is we will have a just cause stream of Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. I. I, it was supposed to be a Legacy Extra stream, but that one is going to be moved to f next Friday. And then what will happen is the there will be three Just Cause streams after that one. And then we'll move back to Legacy Extras and then come back to Just Cause. So hopefully that pattern does not get disrupted again. But yeah. Um, so stay tuned for that. That'll be at, at 11.30 p.m. Uh, that'll be after my Street Fighter Five Online Live Extend session. It, uh, number two, or at least the first session, uh, Arcade Edition and Sakura coverage. Um, gonna be using Sakura tonight, rank matches. Uh, a whole 45 minutes worth, and that'll pretty much be it. Um, that'll take place in the next, oh, about 40 minutes. So, if you want to check that out, hop over to the Sonic Legacy 12 YouTube channel, and and we'll hope to have you there um other than that yeah other than that we have one more day one play session after these two um which will be the city of final fantasy nt on tuesday night at 11 30 so keep note for that and with that said that's pretty much going to do it um do check out awesome guys like we a studio sega collecting and the jesus haircut and then if you like what you saw here today go ahead and hit the like or the follow button or like or subscribe if you're watching from youtube because again Help is greatly appreciated so we can get upgrades here on both channels. So, with that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Sonic Legacy 12 signing out. Laters.